Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you've probably seen a few of these printing. And I got the link to follow me on Instagram. And uh, you can probably keep a little bit ahead of what I'm doing because these videos I usually release in the rears a little bit uh, because I travel and things like that. But uh, Instagram, I usually uh, keep that on real time. Anyways, um, with this, what I did is I actually whipped these up in OpenSCAD and this uh, stuff will be actually out on the OpenSCAD site and also on the OpenSCAD channel if you want more details on the code. I'm really not going to talk about the code here. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of my design up in the corner so you can see it and then I'll run a couple um, you know, time lapses as I sort of go through this and uh, so you can see it being designed, printed, blah, blah, blah. But uh, anyway, so what is this, you might ask? Well, actually, it started out as a pretty simple project. So it uh, designed to hold um, an air can. So because one of the things when I'm working in the shop, I'm always looking for these cans of air to blow a little something off, etc. And uh, so I decided I'm going to whip up something, but then I decided um, I wanted something that was obviously pegboard mountable. And then to do that, I actually came up with a pegboard utility. So what it does is basically creates a pegboard backing that I can attach to about anything. So I can use that as a basis. Now I have that pegboard utility actually out on Thingiverse. Now it actually uses um, a couple tiers of logic to create the patterns and holes. It's a little bit more complicated than it actually would seem at first. Uh, so customizer seems to be having a problem with it. So if you want to use it, you pretty much I think going to have to install OpenSCAD, download the file and run it. It's pretty straightforward. I've got a bunch of self-explanatory params up at the top of the code that you can run it and uh, create your own. Uh, backing and then import it into something like Tinkercad because the way that that particular program works is you can either create the pegboard which is like what you see here or you can create the inverse of the pegboard which is whole which are holes that you can import into your application and use to difference out a set of holes that match a pegboard and you can adjust the size of the holes naturally and offset now this is uh, the pretty much the standard at least in the US I found for pegboards is one inch center to center and quarter inch hole so that's what I have the default set for but you know one of the things in printing this it was sort of interesting because I kept getting pulling on these corners um, and when I started with the larger ones for the two cans, um, because it works for more than just air cans, so basically any type of aerosol can you can put in here. And so like this, and, and then uh, you can use mounting clips to connect these, you know, such as these. And then so what will happen is they actually uh, clip in here and uh, you know it locks onto the pegboard and this actually holds it to the pegboard and so it's a pretty resilient uh, connection to the pegboard I, I didn't like uh, I've had a lot of problems 3d printing pins that go into the pegboard if you don't use it a lot or remove it a lot it's okay uh, but I I've since done a lot of these and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this and again I'll have the links to the open SCAD video for this as well as uh, uh, the code out on Thingiverse, and the code will also be on the OpenSCAD site. Uh, so it comes in handy. So you can, uh, you know, uh, the code makes just makes the backing. So I, I may put the code for these up on the um, uh, OpenSCAD site. They're not as clean. I'm putting the STL models out on Thingiverse, and so I'll have the link to those below. And so I whipped up a couple different versions uh, size-wise, uh, if you will, because again, I kept getting pulling in the same spot. I even attempted to move it on the printer, but all of these have the pull in the same spot. So I even altered the model on this one because you notice this one takes it almost to the bottom. And so this one, I moved the bottom up and, and changed the internal structure. Now I got less pulling on this one than I did these two. Um, and you notice this guy even has has probably the most, and it's because uh, probably because this is the biggest surface area. Um, now, this failed one, I started on the um, one how. Uh, I really didn't get, um, let me see, the, the, be this side. I really didn't get any pulling yet, but I also notice it's when this matures, this brace matures here, that the pulling really begins. And so I actually found this interesting. I'm going to try this 
um, actually on a couple different printers. I haven't had time to try it on different printers because they've all been busy doing something, uh, one project or another, because I kind of try to queue up a bunch of these and get these done. Uh, but anyways, I do have this out on um, uh, Thingiverse right now, so you can go out there. You know, if you have air cans or any type of cans that uh, uh, you want uh, to put out a pegboard, and if I get my trusty calibers, I have since forgotten what the size of the can is. So basically, if... Uh, so it's about a 66.4, so roughly about a 66.5 can or so should fit. You can, you know, there's a lot of material here. You can clean this out. You do have to print these with supports. It does print, you know, facing down with my hands the bed. It prints like this, so you do need some center support here um, to, to get a nice clean bridge or else you're going to get an oblong circle. So, uh, But other than that, it really does print very nice and it's uh, very effective. I'll have some overlays on the screen of it on the pegboard itself uh, and things like that. So, real handy build. I'm going to probably, you know, by the time you see this video, I might have actually a couple of these uh, up here because I've done a couple different sizes and I might actually even throw the double one up uh, too so you'll have some to choose from. Uh, also, if you have a particular maybe size that you need um, for a particular application, uh, you know, you can, you know, hit me up in the comments and uh, I can see about doing up one special for that. It's not really that hard to do. The code isn't very clean, though, to do these, and I, I'm not sure I'm going to invest the time to make it clean enough to do these because, um, uh, it, well, it gets into a little bit of how the pegboard piece is made and the logic to, to do some of the stuff on the pegboard makes it difficult because the pegboard isn't centered. But if you want to know more about that, go over to the OpenSCAD channel. And I talk about that in the OpenSCAD video quite a bit more um, than I am here. Because here I just really want to talk about the parts, the printing, some of the issues that I've had. Uh, and because the other piece I want to share here is, is when you're prototyping, as, as you can see, you know, I've gone through a lot of iterations. It's taken me a good spool of plastic because there's actually probably more than what I have here to work these prototypes because I was really perplexed by this pulling. This is a little bit unusual for me with PLA. This is the first time, first project I've really had significant lifting. Now, it is a big surface area, but I've printed other large surface area objects in PLA. Now, when I do... Uh, you know, prototyping like this, I use a very, very cheap filament. And I think that's actually part of the problem is the cheap filament in this case uh, here, but not all of it. So I do think it's part of the structure itself because, again, when I changed the structure here, it did improve it, but it did not eliminate it. So this is one of the pieces to kind of keep an eye out for. And think about also in your designs, uh, how, how are they going to print? Uh, because I think actually... Uh, I need to build some structural relief in here somehow, and I, quite frankly, I haven't thought that through yet, but that's what it seems, so it doesn't create this pulling action, because what's happening is this larger mass of plastic here is cooling and contracting and pulling it down. Now, I could change some stuff in the inside structure of this, but, I mean, that's really a hassle, so... Uh, I'm going to try it on a, cu a couple other printers later, but I did want to share this model with you and this whole, whole sort of design process and how this works. And I'd also like to hear from you guys when you print it, what are you seeing? Because, uh, again, I also kicked up the temperature, tried different bed temperatures on this, even with PLA. Uh, you know, 60, I went to 70, I changed uh, the, some of the flow rates on the plastic. Um, a lot of different things, and, and I really all seem to be pretty much the same outside of the changing the model roughly and kind of pulling it back up so there's more surface area on the bottom to deal with this, uh, this bottom piece. When I say bottom, I'm speaking of this and this piece pulling it up. So anyways, wanted to share that as sort of a little bit of design with you. Uh, again, these are out on Thingiverse. If you found this interesting, hey, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, subscribe button's going to be coming over there. we got the swag shop up there. Leave comments below, especially if you print it. If you guys are, I've got, you know, I think 107 objects out on Thingiverse. And I notice a lot of downloads and things like that. So if you guys are doing makes, I'd really appreciate it if you'd post the makes over on, uh, on Thingiverse because it really helps me to see what you guys are interested in as a, as a community, number one. And number two, it also helps me to to uh, understand the different um, potential flaws in my designs or how I can make my designs better through you guys. So again, subscribe, swag, comment below. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.
please click like below and subscribe to the channel.